Florida State versus Florida, the Home Depot College Football on CBS Sports. In this state, they do know the players without a program, but you can't get in without a ticket. And today, 85,000 lucky fans will be inside the swamp to watch the chop and the chop. And the final home game for 16 University of Florida seniors, including emotional quarterback Doug Johnson. They're ready to get after each other again as the Gators play host to the Seminoles in the swamp. And here come the Gators at 9-1. They've won at least nine games in each of Steve Spurrier's 10 years of head coach. hit of the afternoon on the cameraman in the end zone. There is a little bit of a breeze and a 20% chance of showers. We had a very brief sprinkle earlier this afternoon, but right now a delightful day. Florida leads the series. It began in 1958 for many years Florida State as an all-female institution. Sebastian Janikowski kicks off. Florida State wants the toss and deferred, so Florida receives. John Capel downs it in the end zone. They are the champions. ACC for the eighth year in a row. Johnson back at quarterback going deep for Travis. Porter is off his hands and incomplete with Cleveland Thomas in two way in the first quarter. And no score. The home team has won the last four meetings. Palmer, short pass, complete to Bo Carroll, who just checked in a tailback. And he's Florida in the game last year. Their loss to the Seminoles in Tallahassee did not convert on third down. They've already accomplished that feat. Now it's third and seven after the penalty. Palmer had to throw on to the And it's too high for Travis Taylor along the far sideline. They blitz McCaslin. The pass caught by Ward for first down. A lot for win. And they win by flinging it around all over the field. Predominantly. Linky trying to wing it. Throws back across the middle. Deflected and caught. Very close to a first down, Ron Dugan. That looked like a certain interception after the initial. They have Peter Warwick lined up now in the backfield. He was a high school quarterback. He takes the direct snap and runs for a first down. And then he got hammered in the midsection by Robert Cromarty. But Winky back in under center. Jeff Cheney the tailback now. And he carries. Down to the 21-yard line, where Marquand Manuel made the stop, aided by Florida penalties, one of them on a key bad call. That pass is caught by Ron Dugans inside the five for a first down. He beat Robert Cromarty for the 18th play of this drive. Here's Wanky. This is Warwick now. Fourth guy playing quarterback. Warwick reverses his field. What a move! Touchdown! dangerous football player in America when he has his hands on the ball. And the extra point good. Possession for Florida. 7-0 Seminoles. Johnson throws and it is caught. Nice catch by Kirk Wells, the backup tight end. Brian Allen had the coverage, a 19-yard destination last year. Not as high up in the rankings this season. They've been plagued by the big play. As he likes to say the other team's offense is on scholarship too. Palmer under pressure, got away, and has a first down. Across midfield to the 49. Corey Sutton. Carroll and Graham in the backfield together now. Both are nearly tailbacks. Got Johnson, a deep drop. And he throws, and it is intercepted by Bradley Jennings. And the ball goes over the Gators. Thought that one official you saw was waving incomplete pass but he was not. It's an interception for Jennings. Receiver and come up and play the next down. 7-0 Florida State. Late in the first quarter. They scored on their opening drive. Winky throws a strike and it is caught by Marvin Minnis. He beat Benny Alexander to the 26-yard line of Florida. Second and 10. From the 27. Short pass to Minnis. He got stopped at the 22. 
Daryl Dick Star. Wanky is reading everything pretty doggone well. Wanky throws. Caught by Warwick. And the ankle tackled by Marquand Manuel. Save. Dowson. Watch him try to move to the right a little bit. Fourth and inches. Dowson keeps. And he definitely went forward. He should have the first down. Change up for Florida State. Winky bag of quarterback. He locks it up in the end zone. It's batted down on a nice defensive play by Robert Cromarty. Ron Dugan, the intended receiver in the field. Opinion of many, the best place to win the nation. Native of Poland who came to this country at age 15. Drills at home from 22 yards out. And Florida State lead is now 10 to nothing. They've run 30 plays, Florida State. They've gotten them off very quickly. Third down and 10. Jackson the catch. Lunging toward the marker. It'll be very close. Mario Edwards on fourth down. Empty backfield. They do go for it. Palmer lunges forward. Now where will they mark the ball? It's where the ball was when his knee went down. The official on the near side. Palmer was trying to lunge forward. A great play by David Warren from his defensive end position. And they just do get the first down. More conservative, Sean, but the execution was still poor in the last two games. Palmer throws. Flag down to the secondary. The ball was incomplete, intended for Daryl Jackson. Reggie Durden had coverage, and perhaps he was in both replays. There, and his Graham was wide open in yeah. the middle of the field. Third down and ten. Johnson with the three-man rush. He throws short to the tight end, Kirk Wells. He got popped out of bounds by Mario Edder when he's ready to play. Jeff Chandler's on. This would be a 50-yard field goal to the longest of his career. It's long enough, and it is good. Jeff Chandler, the junior from Jacksonville, Florida, gets the game. Even in a place as loud as this, he was able to draw the offside penalty by the game. Inside handoff, good cut by Miner. Travis Miner, the junior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tackled in the second side. First and 10, Seminole. At the 38-yard line. Winky. First down and much more. Robert Morgan all the way down to the 34-yard line of Florida. Completion to Morgan, the sophomore from East Point, Georgia. They spread it around, 20 different receivers. They caught a pass this year. There's another completion and another first down. To Warren, knocked out of bounds by Benny because of the pass protection last week. Second and 10, here comes the blitz. It's well picked up, and Warren's wide open. And he's very close to another first down at the 13-yard. Lanky out of the gun. Throws. Dugan, short of a first down, about two yards short after a good combined tackle by Robert Cromartie. National soccer contract in South America to come to Florida State. Trouble with the hold, but the ball driven up and through. Marcus Outson did a good job of team getting that down. Forge and both of his sons have. Or two of his sons, yes. Terry and Tommy. Terry at Auburn, Tommy at Tulane. That pass caught by Carroll, but short of the first down. A blitz. Winky going deep for Warwick, and it is incomplete. Benny Alexander at excellent coverage with five wide receivers. Doug Johnson, the quarterback. John Capel shifts into the backfield. He's a world-class sprinter. Breaks a tackle. And Power is near a first down, about a yard short of it. And the clock last year because they were able to stop the run with this defense as well. Palmer back in. Again, the three-man rush. And the pass is caught by Daryl Jackson at the 28-yard line. First down. Of the two, Jesse Palmer has looked a little better here in the first half. Palmer in a listening. Rush for the pocket. 25 seconds left in the half. It's up for grabs and incomplete. Intended for Travis Taylor, Derek Gibson not able to come up with that play so far today. Third down and ten. Johnson has his pass batted down. Brian Allen got a hand on it. 
from Jacksonville on a walk on to earn the scholarship. This will be a 45 yard shot out of Billy Young's hole. That one's long enough. And that one's good. Great kick. After a fast start for the FSU offense, they've been less productive of late. Travis Miner trying to turn that back around. And he gets ridden out of bounds. Mark Rick, the offensive coordinator, says Dunn's one of the best tackle breakers they've ever had. Winky stripped of the ball. It is loose. Alex Brown pulled the ball out, but it looks like the Knowles got it back, and they did. Let's see, have one in his hands in that first half. And Chris Winky, when he's pressured, he will throw some in the area of the defense, and you've got to make plays. Winky. All day to throw. Going deep, and it is over the head of Peter Ward. They had two defenders in the neighborhood. Benny Alex in the second half if Florida wants to win. Jesse Palmer takes the reverse, throws it in the flat. Coach Hill inside the 30 and down at the 20-yard line. Derek Gibbs by Steve Spurrier. Carroll eight times a track and field All-American. Ernest Graham through a huge hole inside the five and stopped at the one. Gibson saved the touchdown again. Just got the throw off and it's incomplete. Intended for Daryl Jackson. And even with three men trying to make it three for three in field goals today, a 22 yarder, it is good. He still has not missed from inside the 40 yard line this year. So a hollow ending for Florida. They had first and goal at the one and settled for three. He says, really, they're different players. Yep. Stylistically, that ball is up for grabs and intercepted by Benny Alexander. He's going to take it in. to the 33. Virginia in the first half. He brought him back. First and 10. The rush well picked up. And Ron Dugan goes out of bounds. That was the last time the visiting team won in this rivalry. Inside handoff to Jeff Cheney. He has the first down and more into Florida territory at the 48-yard line. Lined up to Winky's left. They pitch it to Warwick. First down, a great move, and they slide down at the 34-yard line. He's done a fantastic job the whole game. The coaches were praising Thomas in our meetings this week for his great senior leadership on that offensive line. Morgan battling for an extra yard or two. From second and one to third, down and eight. Four-man rush, Winky out of the gun, dumps it short, and Andre Davis leveled Jeff Cheney from behind. The 54-yard try officially will be as long as for the season. He made a 56-yarder in 97. That ball is wow. good. Look at my man. And on the sideline now, on third down and 18, Jesse Palmer down the middle incomplete, looking for Travis Taylor, who was well covered by Reggie Durden. Hokies helped their cause for the national championship today. Man on the field with a whooping of Tempo. That punt is blocked. Ryan had it blocked. And Florida State will take over at the 21-yard line. It looked like Tommy Pauly again up the middle to block it. They had two blocked punts last week against Maryland. They had a blocked punt against Virginia. On this possession, another chance to convert on third down and five. Winky has some running room. He's going to take off. And he has 
the first down of the 11-yard line, perhaps. Up play by Chris Wanky in the red zone. First and 10, apparently they could get another first down just shy of the goal line. Chaney bounces it outside. And drives his legs down inside. Another chance of the third down conversion, and the Knowles capitalize. Chaney, the tailback, running behind Kendra, the fullback. Another flag down. It is a touchdown if the play stands. And they will stand based on the reaction of those Gator defenders who could hear the officials conferring. Offside defense, touchdown in the lead for Florida State. Key to put the lead back to seven. With 34 seconds left in the third quarter. It's 23-16 FSU. Another 30-game home winning streak snapped by Alabama. They don't want to see a second loss at home. Their team's down by seven. Wesley Palmer going deep. It is caught along the far sideline by the tight end, Kirk Wells. Out of bond to safety, Chris Hope for the big completion. 39-yard gain, longest reception of Wells' career. Johnson going for the end zone, and it is knocked down. Wow. What a play by play. Hey, Cody, back post of this game. Jesse Palmer, under a blitz, swings it out to Bo Kill. great cut to the inside. Bo Kill still on his third and down at the seven-yard line. Derek Gibson saved the touch. Johnson back in, the ball back at the 18 again, third down and goal. 12 and a half minutes left in regulation time. Johnson with a lot of time. Zip one, intercepted at the goal line by Chris Hope. Keith Kelsey hit him very near the goal line. Boston College, the Scandal-ridden program, and now they're 8-2. Ripping through the middle, first down, Ernest Graham to the 30-yard line. The bad play and just wasted a second down play and bring up third and 11. Out of the shotgun, Jesse Palmer. High snap over his head. And he goes down on a knee to field it back at midfield. That takes him out of field goal range. It will be huge, and they don't have very far to go with Janikowski as their field goal kicker. Winky has work open. Down to the 30-yard line of Florida, where Eugene McCaz as I can. I'm going to go down inside of five seconds as often as I can. Winky going for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Marvin Minnis. Janikowski with 6.03 to go. Gives Florida State its largest pitch. They'll switch quarterback. Palmer with just a three-man rush. Waving to his receiver, Daryl Jackson. Found the spot Palmer pointed to. He's not much urgency here. The play clock is at eight. Snapped on seven. Palmer throws to the sideline. First down and found Travis Taylor. Doug Johnson on first and goal. Here comes the all-out blitz. Touchdown! Is it a catch? Yes, it is for Brian Hoggebrook. First time they've thrown it to him today. Just his 11th catch of the year. And on Durden and a touchdown gator. And there was a catch. And the possession came down with the ball before it was stripped away. Can't really completely project the numbers. They do try an onside kick. And it is smothered by Florida State. Good hands by Todd Fryer, a reserve defensive bag. His brother recurring theme throughout. Must stop situation for the Gators. Very safe play call. Shane didn't get the first down. He went down to the 30. They've won 20 in a row in the regular season since the loss at NC State early last year. Flag is down. Long pass. Caught! That is Taylor Jacobs, the true freshman, to midfield. Make sure you throw it beyond first down yard. It's a three-man rush again. Burger sticking with Doug Johnson. He throws that. A terrible decision. Short of the first down marker. Caught by Travis Taylor and Burke. And must stop the clock somehow. 
Johnson in there. Throws. First down. He's going to come out at the 35. They'll have time to go on the snap. Right on the referee's whistle. They get the snap off. This play will count. They have to score a touchdown. Palmer, the quarterback, walks into the end zone. Jump ball there. And it's incomplete. Batted down. And Florida State is going to play for the national championship after a perfect regular season.